remote audio connections to Pro Tools have become an important workflow for studios, both for remote live approvals and input from collaborators. With Ox.io, you can now send audio directly to Zoom or streaming audio tools such as Teams, OBS, and other conferencing software while retaining your normal playback engine. In this video, we will look at Zoom specifically. Sharing a screen with system audio in Zoom can be useful, but the audio may drift over time. Ox.io provides you with a much better option to route your audio to Zoom. To create a simple send from Pro Tools to Zoom, add a two-channel Pro Tools audio bridge for output to Zoom in the Ox.io section in the Pro Tools I.O. setup. You can rename this for easier assignment. Make a send to Zoom either from a QMix or off your main subbus. Using a send gives you the ability to change the level to match those required for the conferencing software without affecting your mix. In Zoom, before starting a meeting, set Zoom's microphone setting to the Pro Tools audio bridge you assigned in Ox.io, enable Hi-Fi music mode and stereo, choose auto suppress and turn echo cancel off. When joining the meeting and connecting audio, turn original sound to on. At this point, you will be able to stream your audio from Pro Tools directly to Zoom. Assuming you're not going to use a separate computer or phone for speaking, you will need to create an input in Pro Tools to use a mic. In this example, we'll be using the built-in laptop mic. To do this, we'll need to first enable the mic in the Ox.io section of the Pro Tools I.O. setup, then create a new Pro Tools track with the mic as the input and assign it to the same send being used for the zoom in. Finally, to monitor the output of zoom, we'll need to enable another two-channel Pro Tools audio bridge, check input, and then name it Zoom Out. We will then create another track in Pro Tools and assign the Zoom Return as the input of that track. In Zoom, choose the audio bridge you assigned in the Zoom's speaker setting. The output of this track can now be assigned to your monitors or to a queue. In these cases, it may be better for you to monitor with headphones to ensure the audio coming from Zoom isn't being also sent back into Zoom and causing feedback.